Hi, how did people during the time of Christ understand the scriptures? You can imagine with 2,000 years difference and a totally different culture that people would express themselves and hear things really different. I know I've crossed cultures twice in my life and it's easier said than done. People think very different. So watch this video to the end and see what the main difference is between the cultures of the Bible and today's Western culture. Hebrews and Middle Eastern people express themselves in pictures. That's why Jesus would talk in parables. That's how Hebrew rabbis talk. Most of the parables Jesus used were actually well known. Like in the US, we have a parable of how to boil a frog without them jumping out of the pan. So Jesus used common stories. The key to understanding the parables and the sayings is to understanding the context. For instance, the key to understanding the parable of the Good Samaritan is to understand the cultural background and that's an answer to the question, who is my neighbor? If you want to hear more about this particular parable, watch this video. If you ask Hebrews, who is God, you probably get an answer like, he's my rock, he's my shepherd, he's the bread of life, he's the living water, etc, etc. This is Hebrew thinking, pictures. You can close your eyes and picture each one of those. However, if you were to ask a Greek who is God, you would get an abstract answer like God is just, God is all loving, God is omniscient, God is all powerful. All of those are found in scripture, but you can't picture them in your mind. Now it's important to know that we in the West tend to think similar like Greeks and not like Middle Eastern people. And if we don't have a very good handle on the Old Testament or the Tanakh, much of the New Testament will go right over our heads. Now it's important to know that both are good, but we need to realize that the teachings of the scriptures are different depending on who the teaching is given to. Both Jesus and Paul were incredibly good theologians, but Jesus' approach is very different. Like I said, he spoke in pictures, whereas Paul spoke abstract because his epistles were to Greek folks. Both Jesus and Paul were, of course, very, very Jewish, but Paul had to adjust himself to his audience. For instance, the church's marching orders are found in Matthew 28, verse 18 through 20. The main verb is to make disciples. So if that's the main job of the church, why didn't Paul ever use the term disciples in his epistles? Well, because he wrote to Gentile or Greek audiences who have no idea what that even means. Like I said, I have changed cultures twice in my life. And trust me, if I start talking in one culture's ideas to another culture, it won't make any sense. Like try convincing people in the USA about the practicality of wearing wooden shoes. Or try convincing people in Latin America to start weddings on time. I was invited to a wedding in South America. The invitation said that the wedding would start at four o'clock. I asked a local friend of mine what time I should show up. She said 7.30 p.m. Wow. So read the book of Matthew and then read the book of Ephesians. Now, if you read the book of Matthew and then you read the book of Ephesians, they're totally different. Both are very theologically accurate, but Matthew is full of pictures and Ephesians full of concrete abstract teachings. If you can think of a difference in culture, share it below. Oh, and if these videos help you, don't forget to subscribe and SDLB or smash the like button and they might help others, so share it with them. God bless you. Bye-bye.